Coming up on Trending Today, we'll head out on the highway. We'll travel to Indiana and meet a company that is taking the art of transportation to a whole new level. And we'll show you a product that is revolutionizing the towing industry. We'll meet a husband and wife who are helping plan RV trips all over the U.S. And we'll head down to Florida to meet a family of motocross entrepreneurs. It's all coming your way next on Trending Today. Hi everyone, I'm Miranda Khan, and welcome to Trending Today, the show that profiles some of the most innovative and cutting edge companies and products in the world. We're coming to you from Palm Beach RV, right here on West Palm Beach, Florida. They're an industry leader in sales and service of RVs, and their customers come from all over the country. It's the perfect place for today's show. And the next half hour, we're gonna hit the open road. We're gonna concentrate on the recreational vehicle industry, better known as RVs, and meet innovators and innovations that are changing the industry and making a big difference to people all over the United States. We start our show in the RV capital of the world, Elkhart, Indiana, with the story of Horizon Transport. Family owned and operated for 30 years, this company is devoted to delivering RVs all over the U.S. Americans have been hitting the road in RVs for generations, exploring our beautiful country wherever the dotted highway lines may take them. But did you ever stop to wonder how an RV makes its way from the manufacturer to the showroom floor? Or how all those neatly lined up fifth wheels made it to that RV show you went to last spring? Would you believe, for the most part, they are delivered one at a time? A lot of RVs, campers, and travel trailers are just too big to be delivered any other way. One RV, one driver, equals one delivery. In the early 1980s, Melvin Schrock saw a need for an upscale transportation company, offering impeccable customer service and safe, professional, courteous drivers. Ruth Ann Schrock, Melvin's wife, helped co-found Horizon Transportation. She still remembers the early days of the company. We had quite a demand on our drivers. They had to wear shirts and ties to deliver recreational vehicles back in those days, something that wouldn't fly today. And it was out of that strong commitment to high standards that Horizon Transport was born. Today, Horizon Transportation is a highly respected leader in the field of RV transportation. They deliver more than 80,000 vehicles annually. They rely on over 1,400 individual contractors to make those deliveries safely and efficiently. Through all that growth, Horizon has remained a family business. I came to work at Horizon right out of high school and uh, really took a liking to it and uh, found my niche in life. Marion Schrock is a second generation owner of Horizon Transportation. He took the company over from his parents in 2004. Horizon Transport is an RV transporter. We, um, you can move anything with wheels, anything from bicycles to motorcycles to horse trailers to RVs. Uh, even to regular vehicles like cars, trucks, SUVs. Our main focus is the RV industry. 95% of what we do is um, related to the RV industry. And to move all those wheels, it takes a very large family. It's hard to keep that family atmosphere when so much of your family is out on the road making their living. So every year, Horizon hosts a family reunion of sorts, an annual appreciation day to say thank you to its drivers and contractors. It's just a great day. We'll have a lot of food, great entertainment, great giveaways, and of course, it's our 30th anniversary this year. Hey, how you doing? I really look forward to saying hi to everybody, shaking their hand, and uh, let them know that they are the reason uh, Horizon has uh, reached the, suc the success that it has. The Horizon family is broad, to say the least. Drivers from 23 to 73 come from all parts of the country. We have a very diverse group of drivers. We pride ourselves on it, young and old, many different racial backgrounds. We're proud of the fact that we have a very diverse group of people. And if you can pass a DOT physical and have a safe driving record, you qualify. But this year, out of 1,400 drivers, eight are receiving a special honor. We have eight drivers that have actually exceeded the one million mile mark in uh, safe miles. And it's quite an accomplishment. If you think about driving one million miles, damage-free, accident-free, and have eight in our group to do that. And we have probably four to six more that will 
reach that level in the next 12 to 18 months. The average person drives around 30 miles a day. That's 900 miles a month. That means it would take you 1,111 months, or about 92 years, to drive what these guys did in just six. And they covered all that terrain without a single accident. These eight are the true kings of the road. Horizon is cultivating the American dream by offering opportunities for delivery drivers with a proven success record for 30 years. The level of freedom and flexibility that the contractors enjoy has allowed many to grow within the company. We have drivers who have started delivering motorhomes, developed a taste for it, and they've evolved their business that they sell to Horizon into pulling trailers with a diesel pickup truck, and if that's gone well for them, maybe they've upgraded uh, to larger trucks. Maybe they've upgraded to multiple trucks. It really is like a family. And, and I was a little bit worried when I first started with such a large company, like I they would never know who I am. And uh, that's not what happened. Jim joined the Horizon family about a year ago. The way I consider it, we're working with them. It's, it's a team effort. Because um, basically, without them, we wouldn't have the loads. But without us, they wouldn't have anybody to deliver the loads. For some, joining the Horizon family for the first time also meant getting behind the wheel of a truck or RV for the first time. When I first started a year ago, I had 40 other drivers that I could talk to that would help me uh, shorten my learning curve. For 30 years, Horizon Transportation has been moving RVs across the U.S. and Canada with the help of its dedicated contractors. It's no mystery why the family-run business that Melvin Schrock and his wife Ruth Ann started has grown to what it is today. My parents were always big on family and um, you know it's it's the foundation of our company. I am um, the second generation owner and uh, you know I see uh, in the future where my kids could actually uh, at some point be third generation owners. As far as um, all the great contractors we work with we they're all part of the great Horizon family and uh, we um, make special effort to make them feel welcome. What I like about working at Horizon is we are like a big and growing family. We're like a family that supports each other and builds off each other's strengths. What our drivers do out on the road, we cannot do. What we do in the office, our drivers out on the road cannot do, and we need each other. As a team, we succeed wildly. It's service itself, so, um, and along with that is, you know, having the courteous driver. So to answer your question, I mean, we grew because of our service, number one. But the industry also grew, and uh, it's still growing. And so, uh, we're not done growing yet. Next up is the story of Firestone Industrial Products. Yes, that Firestone. But this isn't a story about tires. Firestone Industrial Products makes air springs that help balance a truck when they're carrying a load. For instance, hauling an RV. The company's first patent came back in 1938 and they've been the industry leader ever since. Their latest innovation is the consumer air spring called Ride Right. Indianapolis, the racing capital of the world and home to a company whose name is synonymous with the automotive industry. When people think of Firestone, they know what they're getting. They know they're getting a trusted American brand. We obviously started this business, uh, we came with the first patent. Uh, innovation has been a kind of a hallmark of the company and it is still a hallmark and very front and center. But at this Firestone, they're using rubber for a completely different reason. Wow, oh, that's fast. It all started as an idea between two of the biggest names in the industry. So Firestone Industrial Products was founded by Firestone Tire and Rubber Company. Uh, back in 1936, uh, Firestone Tire Company had a uh, wonderful relationship with Ford Motor Company as a result of Harvey Firestone and Henry Ford's working relationship. Uh, and Ford needed non-tire rubber parts and components and uh, we, we bought a facility in Noblesville, Indiana in 1936 and that's where we started. And uh, in 1938 we came out with the first patent for a pneumatic air spring um, and it, it was uh, known as air ride and that continues today. 
For the next 40 years, Firestone Air Springs would be used in vehicles all over the world. Commercial truck and trailers, buses, construction and farming vehicles, and even rail cars were all operating better thanks to the black rubber bags. Then in the 1970s, Firestone took what it knew from these heavy-duty sectors and applied it to a new market, the consumer market. And with that, Ride Right was born. Today, Ride Right continues to lead the way in the aftermarket air springs, using more than 80 years of experience to turn a black art into an exact science and placing it right under your pickup truck. So that same technology that semis have been using for years and hundreds of thousands of miles going down the road, we incorporate that same technology into the light duty product which is available for your pickup trucks. Todd Green is a regional sales manager at Firestone Industrial Products. Before that, he was engineering air springs. Now he spends much of his time showing drivers the importance of air spring suspension. Anytime you add weight to a vehicle, it's going to sag. Um, when you bring that back up to the designed ride height, it's going to help supplement the suspension. It's going to spread the weight evenly across the vehicle so that the front end is not going to be light as you drive down the road, uh, which makes your steering a lot better. Um, it's going to be easier on the driver and, and the people inside the vehicle. It's also going to level the front end up so your headlights aren't shining in people's eyes coming down the road. Not only does the Ride Right system keep you from blinding oncoming traffic, it also absorbs road shock, increases vehicle stability, and reduces bottoming out, suspension fatigue, and vehicle sway. Capable of leveling up to 5,000 pounds of load, it's no surprise Firestone customers come from all over. Whether it be camping, RVing, boating, uh, pulling your horse trailer, uh, anybody that does landscape work that puts uh, lawn mowers and vehicles on the back of the truck, mulch, gravel, basically anybody that adds weight to the truck or vehicle uh, is a potential customer. A closer look inside a Ride Right Air Spring shows just what separates Firestone from the competition. Here I have what is one of our main lift bags. Some of the robust features about this that uh, our, our customers like in particular is we have this very strong rolled beaded bead plate on here where we roll the metal around onto the rubber component and we hold it very securely. So it really makes a very, very airtight and robust system for fairly severe use on the four-wheel drive vehicles as well as the two-wheel drive vehicles. It's very difficult to damage a spring that's made in this fashion. Firestone air springs are highly engineered elastomeric bellows with specially designed metal enclosures and four layers of commercial grade fabric reinforced rubber. As for the rubber itself, with our product we tend to uh, use high levels of uh, compound elements that modify the basic rubber components or neoprene components for longevity in the field. But ultimately people want to know, can it perform? To answer that question, Firestone Industrial Products built this new state-of-the-art facility just outside of Indianapolis. Here it doesn't matter if an air spring is going into a bus, SUV, or an assembly line. They all go through the same rigorous testing. We have technologies in here that doesn't just look at how we construct the product, how it's made. We're looking at live testing. How does the part react in the field over many years, two, three, five, seven years? It's a differentiator for Firestone. So in the facility here that you see, we test our components way beyond our customer requirements. We test our product to a level that we know takes us beyond our customer. The testing capabilities we have are very impressive and they definitely add to our product development and quality assurance. We can actually input a, a road course and put a spring through the riggers the same as when they put it on a, a vehicle and actually run it around a road course um, at different proving grounds. Whether you're trekking cross country, hauling equipment, or just taking the boat out, it's nice to know there's one company out there making your time on the road a little less stressful. You don't start a product in 1930s and you're still developing it here in 2014 and on without doing something right, without learning a little bit about the product. It's not just a great company because it's been here for a while. It really looks to the future 
uh, looks at innovation, looks at uh, building a strong team to help understand what our customers need. Air Springs are us, so to speak. Uh, we, we do that and we lead the field and differentiate ourselves uh, with that technology and with that dedication to the product. Firestone, innovation that moves the world. Joining us now is Larry Waits, and he is the proud owner of Palm Beach RV. You've been in business 23 years. What's the secret to your success? Well, Miranda, I don't think it's a secret. I think we're selling something that's fun. It's something that's going to suit, you know, almost any family, uh, whether they be older or younger. Uh, but uh, when we sell products that suit, you know, the older folks and the, and the younger, so. It's really more of like a lifestyle, right? It is, it is. Uh, and. We have the weekend campers and we've got the people that are full time and the people that come down, you know, the, the, the snowbirds that come down and spend the winters here. So yes, we do have a, a, a variety of customers. What do you think it is about RVing that people love so much? Wow. Hitting the road. <laughs> yeah, traveling around, having your own home with you, you know, with your own, uh, your own bedroom, kitchen, dining room, people that want to bring their pets with them, you know, that's, uh, that's a big thing. Larry, thanks so much for joining us. There's another business here in the Palm Beaches that knows a thing or two about horsepower. WMR is a family owned and operated business that started small, built their brand with great attention to detail and craftsmanship, and has grown into a global leader whose parts are sold all over the world. Let's head to Stewart, Florida and introduce you to WMR Competition Performance. Motocross racing has never been more popular than it is right now. And in just about every race you'll see the KTM brand motorcycles dominating the track. In Stewart, Florida, there is a small family business that is thriving making custom parts for those KTMs. WMR is a, uh, was a race shop, started in 1999, um, basically focusing on motocross motor suspension and modifications to the amateur and, and professional motocross uh, industry. And then uh, we started dabbling in a few parts here and there, making some parts, uh, aftermarket things to sell, and it just grew from there. What Bob likes best is to make a bike fit the rider. You can move a, a foot peg five millimeters and people can feel it on a dirt bike, so it's a very uh, in tune, people are very in tune with the motorcycles and how they feel, so everything we do is, is meant to make it more comfortable for them. Fixing the problems that all riders encounter, that's what really challenges Bob. We start with, the, with a, uh, an issue, a problem we've had with the bikes, uh, uh, you know, something that bends or breaks or doesn't last good enough, and we design it, a uh, computer SolidWorks uh, program, uh, go from that program to the uh, computer, the prototype one, and then after we prototype it, we test it, make a few changes, and, and go from there. This may be a family-run business, but it's no mom and pop. Their headquarters in Stewart, Florida takes up 13,000 square feet, and they sell these American-made products all over the world. Bob's son, Joe, owns Nihilo Concepts and works with him in the business. He got hooked on motocross as a kid. Me and my brother rode, my dad supported us all the way through. Uh, and as of now, I don't ride as much anymore because I'm working too hard, but I still like to ride, yeah. That passion that he learned as a racer still fills just about all of Joe's waking thoughts. I think about this stuff as I'm going to sleep at night and of parts we can make, and I get excited about a part. A new part comes out, I wanna, I'll stay till midnight or you know, all the way through the night to finish it up and get a part on a bike. Someone comes in with a problem or a part that they need to have modified. Joe makes the process sound so easy. We'll start off basically sometimes with a, a cardboard and a piece of paper. We'll cut it out, make sure you know, we like the idea. From there we'll, you know, we'll make something manually on the manual machine, mock it up, try the test fit, then uh, my dad will design it. And after that, I'll start cutting it. And then, you know, within hours, we can have a, a working prototype. They started with a single machine that they bought from a newspaper ad. It's just grown and grown. We, we always talked about, you know, all we, all we need is one machine. And now, now we have, you know, four or five, and we need more. Joe's brother, Bobby, also works with them in the business and has been involved in motocross racing almost his whole life, too. Started about 10 years old. When you're involved in motocross, it's you and your family, whether it be your mom or dad, brother, sister, everybody goes to the races, spends the weekend together, and there's a lot of life lessons to be learned. Bobby is the machinist who brings those prototypes to life. You know, that the material 
rolls in, it's cut to size, and it's carved into something that, you know, it's put on a, put on a dirt bike, so from, from, from nothing to something. Bob and his son sell the custom-made parts under the brand name Nihilo Concepts, a spin on a Latin expression that means from nothing, something. It has kind of a Hawaiian sound and a tropical sound. Being from Florida, it just kind of fit in. Rob Fox met Bob and Joe years ago racing. Now he heads up marketing for their Nihilo Concepts products. He approached me and um, I went to uh, college for uh, marketing as well and had a, a degree in that. So he approached me and said, come on board and let's get this thing going. So uh, I came on at the very bottom and uh, just trying to help bring it up to the top level as high as I can go. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, I've been in motocross my whole life. It's my passion. It's more of a lifestyle for me. We started with one machine and now we have four machines. So, uh, you know, God only knows how many we'll have, you know, a couple years from now. But uh, it's, it's growing like a weed for sure. The growth they have experienced has just been phenomenal. We can't keep up with demand sometimes, so that's a, that's a good problem to have. And it just it's makes, it, makes it exciting as well that people want your products. We'll take pride in American-made. It's here, the concept, nothing's, nothing's outsourced at all. Everything's here from the, from the metal we buy to the machines we have to the anodized. Everything's in-house in America. It's, it's real pride for sure that I think we need to have. So let's say you have your RV and you're ready to hit the open road. But where do you go? That's where RV Trip Wizard comes in. It's a website designed to help you plan your trip across the country, from national parks and great camping sites to golf courses and even pet hospitals. RV Trip Wizard is your one-stop shop for planning your next RV vacation. Let's head to Central Florida and meet the husband and wife behind RV Trip Wizard. RVers are accomplished people. Most RVers are professionals, uh, very interesting people. You make friendships for life. You're with people who are doing exactly what you are doing, having a great time on the road. You get tips from them. Uh, it, it's just absolutely wonderful. You just keep, I suspect even after we are off the road, uh, we'll still have these friends. We have a large percentage of first time purchasers, uh, new to the industry, and um, you know, just have the desire to get out and, and, and explore and, and uh, enjoy. Every day is different and they're not boring. I mean, it's from A to Z. There's never no telling what the typical day is. What's for dinner? Oh, that's important. Back in 2008, my wife Heidi and I made our first long distance trip in an RV motorhome. I came over to the States in 2007 and uh, of course wanted to see all these beautiful places here. We had a, a, a motorhome and we planned our first big trip. It took us two weeks to plan a trip out to Albuquerque, the Grand Canyon, up through the Rockies. Up to Pittsburgh and back to Florida. Uh, it was such a big trip, we had to plan everything uh, out in, beforehand and with all these big directories you, you have with campgrounds and, and the atlas and the maps. And it was a 7,200 mile trip. So we had all these campgrounds and reservations and then we took off and all of a sudden we we're finding really nice campgrounds that we didn't know anything about. And I complained. I said, somebody's got to do something about this. For three years, I complained. He was saying, I don't understand. There must be something on the market that really facilitates people to do this. And, and he was going on and on. And finally, Heidi says, look, why don't you do it yourself? You've been in the computer business for over 40 years. You're a programmer. You're an analyst. Do it yourself. Hmm, okay. <laughs> RV Trip Wizard is a trip planning tool, a software tool that is online, uh, designed for RV owners or people who are renting RVs uh, that shows them some 17,000 campgrounds around the country. And uh, it runs on any device, uh, any computer, any tablet, 
any smartphone. Very easy to use. Uh, once you take a quick look at the user's guide, uh, it's all laid out. It gives them the options of knowing where they can stay, what it's going to be, how far it is from point A to point B. When you set the, the preferences up and you plan your first trip, it's going to calculate what that trip should cost you based on what your preferences are. Uh, we've got a, a page that will show you local area fuel prices. We have 16,000 golf courses. They just say we love your program because we can find all the, the golf uh, uh, courts we are looking for. We have 8,000 pet hospitals. Uh, really, I insisted to insert because we, we travel with two cats and, and uh, one got really ill, so we had to find a pet hospital. 12,000 bicycle trails. So there's a lot of different information in there. Uh, Walmarts that you can and cannot park at overnight. Uh, and all RVers love Walmart because they can park there and they know what they're going to find when they need to replenish. I personally would think that RV trip would well, More or less like a, like a family of RVers. Everybody is giving in their 50 cents worth of uh, suggestions. You know, we look at something and it says, oh, it's um, 2,000 miles to Phoenix. Well, you know, there's about four different ways to get to Phoenix. And you may like the 2,000 mile trip or you really may like the 2,200 mile trip because it goes through so many other areas. The way it's evolving, I think it's almost mandatory that these RVers are plotting and planning and just getting their destinations lined up so that they know roughly, they used to just kind of free spirit it, now they're pre-planning and using modern technology. Things change, you know, campgrounds come, campgrounds go. And Rich is here to, uh, to keep us updated on, on the ones that's there. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Trending Today. We want to hear from you. If you know of something that's trending today, send us a suggestion or even a video. And for more information on the companies and products seen on our show, log on to trendingtoday.com. Thanks for joining us.